So we can see, you can see how Star Force versus Helpers work now. Star Force did take it over Rex, that means. And is actually looking really good against Helper here. We got some live and learn popping. I bet Helper with the clean down, down tilt confirm. Trying to make this a quick 2-0. All right, dash attacking through. Let's see, he's got Bell in hand. We're trying to wait out the shield, maybe looking for a shield poke with the Bell. Would have been huge. All right, freeze. So many projectiles on the Fire Hydrant is gonna be able to break it. Let's see right now. All right, F tilt. Hello, hello. Hi. I get to watch Helper's Sora, which I always find so funny, because he plays he plays like a solid Sora. Like, mm. There's no no doubt about that. But he doesn't try to like consistently optimize combos in the same way that uh, he should, or at the very least like his confirmed game. Um, and sometimes he'll just go into spell mode, and oftentimes spell mode leaves him in this position where he wants to play pressure, but he has Thundaga and needs to burn it but then he burns up through his other two spells too quickly and gets stuck on Pendaga again. <laughs> so, please help her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Surprise, surprise. You mean all three spells isn't a single button press? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've been watching <laughs> Hellbreak, but I could have sworn. <laughs> like, what do you mean they don't just all come out at once? Like, <laughs> I they, know Fyrog and Blizzog are useful, but like Kelper, come on. It's not hold it until you get the one uh, until it ends on the one you want. <laughs> God, imagine that. Actually, I don't want to imagine no, that. No, ima just like you hold the button and it yeah. rotates through all of them. Oh, that was Ooh, that was a angle. cute little snipe. Starforce bringing us to a game three. I'm oh, the biggest Pac-Man believer. I think this character is nuts. And I just think he got a little power crept. Yeah, yeah. I think he's super fun to watch. Yeah, I can see that. I don't always agree. It depends on the Pac-Man player. Yeah. Like, there's some you can get some really creative traps, and then sometimes you get the drop hydrant charge bell. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I love I love seeing uh, more Pac-Man players experiment with uh, like apple and melon utility and like that kind of stuff. Like those are underrated items. Yeah, I mean, I think he, he's just a character with a ton of creative potential. For sure. I like recognition on the dash attack there from Helper. Just like little damage can go such a long way in slower matchups. And just like that, like suddenly representing grab is on the table. All right, has to respect the Galaga. Does find the tech though on the platform, not taking the full confirm. Ooh, jump tech. Very awkward in couple down angled forward tilts, just stuffing out these like jumps and ledge drops. Gets the chance for the stock, goes for the side beat to try and finish it off, and does not end up getting it despite the uh, appropriate angle. Very nice stuff from Star Force, which is back and forward tilt mode. I do see though, we do have Station 1 started up, Tilde versus Fawn, so I think we should probably move on yeah. to there.